Hey, how's it going guys, 1FO here, and today I'm going to be showing you my free script executor with no keys called Vega X. So this is actually a level 8 exploit, meaning that it'll basically be able to run any script that you put on it. There's also multiple APIs to choose from, tons of options, and over 500 script hub scripts. So you won't need to do a ton of searching, they're all just preloaded onto the exploit as you can see. Boom, 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 500 scripts, and yeah. So I'm going to do an entire showcase of everything that's on here, but before I get into that, I'm going to show you guys how to download it, because a lot of you guys were having some questions on how to download it last time I made a video like this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here. You should be in a video that looks something like this. I know it won't look the same, but just scroll down to the description, click show more, and then click what should be probably the first link in the description. It says link tree. So click this link, boom. And then at the top, it's going to say Vega X download. So we'll come here and then don't click on anything else on this page except for the blue download now button. So boom, click this. And if you're on Chrome, it'll download in the bottom left. And if you're on anything else, it'll be like on the top, top right, top left, something like that. But yeah, so just open this up, click yes, and it should open up a little menu in the front of your screen. So click next and then decline all of this. So I'm going to like uncheck this because of course I'm not going to want any of this. Uncheck that. So don't click next without unchecking stuff. And then come over here, copy the link that it gave you, paste it into your browser, and boom, you have it downloaded. So it takes like under 30 seconds to download and then you're literally going to have it for a lifetime without any keys, no ads, nothing like that. And you are going to need WinRAR to download this. So just extract your thing from WinRAR out to your desktop and it should look like this on your desktop. You might not see all of these files here, but before you do anything, you should read the readme.txt file because usually if you're having any errors, there will be a fix on here. As you can see, check this document for help. So once you do this, come over here, open it up. And if you're getting any errors, you could just join my Discord server for some help. But yeah, so starting off on the main tab right here, you can add some tabs. You can put in some scripts into the main menu. There's an options menu with a ton of stuff on here, as you can see. You can kill Roblox, which closes it. You can force reset your character. There's a simpler UI, which is just, of course, a simpler UI. You can bypass all the chat filters in Roblox. There's a bypass anti-cheat button. Tons of other stuff on this tab. I'm not going to get too carried away with the options. But yeah, so on the main menu, as you can see, lots of stuff on here. So I'm just going to go from the top left all the way down to the bottom right. So right here, there's your themes. Of course, you can change these however you want. You could change the color of the background to like gray and then make the top bar panel like bright purple. I know this doesn't really match that well, but I'm just giving you guys an example. And then of course you can revert it back to the default theme whenever you want. There's also custom themes where if you click this, there's some instructions. Basically you just drop any image you want directly right here. You can open up a file into the text box. You can save a file from the text box. You can execute a file from your computer onto the game. And then right here, there's a script manager. So some people were having some questions with this. Basically, everything that you need to know is going to be right here. So just click how to use the script manager. And here's all the instructions. I'm not going to go too in depth with this. Just so that the video doesn't stretch on too long, I want to give you guys some examples of what it looks like in game. Of course, you have your API selection. So we are devs API is currently down. So I'd recommend you use EX API. And it's also a lot more powerful, but if this one is ever down, you can always switch over to this one. But yeah, so that's pretty much all of the main stuff that you can see on here. So I'm going to join up into a game, getting into Blocks Fruits really quickly. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you first open up the exploit is just click this attach button, wait for it to load, give it a few seconds, and boom. So there it is. It just loads up. It's going to say Easy Exploits API loaded. And then now you can either, either execute your script directly by pasting it into this box and then clicking the execute button or you can click attach and then go to the script hub and basically get any script you want. So right here as you can see the check mark means newly added scripts and I just added these two scripts for Blocks Fruits. So you have your Mukuro hub and then Strike hub. So I'm going to load up both of those and of course it also runs infinite yield. So I'm going to click this, click that. And boom, so there we go. We have our Blocks Fruits, two scripts for Blocks Fruits. Basically, every script that I showcase on my channel almost every day will work on Vega X. So, just quick reminder. And yeah, so that's all there is for like the script hub. Basically, that's how you use it. 
Okay, so as you can see, I just loaded up another script by pasting it directly into this box. This is Project Meow. I'm going to load it up into here, click Execute, and then as you can see, here it is. So I'm just going to open it really quickly and load the GUI. And it's as easy as that. If you've never used an exploit before, that's basically how simple it is. Just paste in your script, click Execute, and here you go. So I'm not going to go too in-depth with showcasing like exactly what these scripts do because, of course, this is a FegaX video, not a script video. But yeah, so that's pretty much all there is. I guess I can go like a little bit more in-depth with the Options tab now. So starting off with the Chat Bypass script, you have to be in a game to do this and you also have to have it attached. But once you have it attached, click this button, go back into the game, and as you can see, it's going to open up this little menu for you. Now, of course, I'm not going to like actually type in here, but I think you guys get the idea with what you can type. Literally anything that their chat normally censors, you can type in here. Okay, I think I actually found one example. So right here, if you type kill you in here, of course, it's going to censor that. But if you come over here and you type kill you and click enter. Okay, well, I guess that's one example. But yeah, pretty much any other word that isn't like multiple words, it's going to work in here. You can also do auto bypass, which is whenever you type any word in the chat, it's going to automatically switch it over for you and change it into the bypass version. Of course, you can also force reset your character from here. So click this button. Boom, it's going to force reset your character. I mean, of course, it doesn't work in blocks fruits because they have like a custom thing. But yeah, anything out over here that says like universal or works in any game. Of course, there's going to be some exceptions to that because not every game works the same. But yeah, for most games, this will work. Same with like for over here, if you open up infinite yield. Oops, I forgot to attach. Attach. But yeah, so as I was saying, if you come over here to infinite yield, for example, as you can see in this game, in this specific game, I can't use the infinite yield fly. So in games like these where you don't have like specific things that work for every game on here, you might need to use a script that's made for this game. But yeah, you could disable your respawning completely. There's an adjustable scripts menu where you can like increase your walk speed and stuff like this. So okay, I think that one only works in the We Are Devs API option. But yeah, so lots of cool stuff on this options menu. Here's all of the update logs that I actually just released today. So if you're seeing this video today or the day after it came out, this is all the stuff that was just added. There's also an alternative executor right here if you're trying to like use stuff already on the options menu without going back to here. But if you have a really, really tiny monitor, I'd recommend you just use the simple UI because it has everything that you need on it. There's like a clear button, attach, execute, script hub, etc, etc. But yeah. So that's pretty much all the stuff that's on this script if you're trying to download the newest version and you don't have it and of course you don't always have to come back to this video you could just click this button right here and that will open up the download link for the newest version whatever it is and yeah so i think that's all there is for like the main features that people would be using on here i guess i can show you guys this whole like script system so to start off with this again all of these scripts over here are just example scripts so don't expect them to be that insane Pretty much what these are for is if you come over here to the file and you open up the scripts folder, this is where you can save any of the scripts that you use directly into Vega X. So let's say I'm using this really good jailbreak script and I want to save it into the exploit so I don't need to like keep finding it. You come over here, rename one of these. So for example, I could rename headless, rename it to jailbreak, uh, let's say jailbreak auto rob. And then just like that, where did it go? Okay, so it's right here. And then I could just, for example, this is what the script would be. You'd paste your script in here, save it. And then when you come back into Vega X, click refresh scripts. Boom. As you can see, jailbreak auto rob. And it's going to load up whatever script that you put into there. And if you are using the We Are Devs API, it's also going to open up a new option for you to use auto execute. But I'm going to save that for another video if you're trying to like auto execute stuff that works for specific scripts. You can add tabs and also remove tabs. So I could put like one script in here. This is a build about script, the next script in here, and then another one in here. And then you can switch between all of them and execute them independently. So you don't need to like have them all saved on your clipboard or something. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is on this exploit. Of course, there's lots of stuff that I didn't showcase, like some of the mini games and other stuff that's on this options tab. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.